Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the K2 Manifest Team. That's right, the Team version. This board features K2's directional combination camber profile, which is just directional cam rocker. So you got a little bit more rocker in the nose than in the tail with camber through the midsection. This is going to give you that load, pop, snap, and drive of camber underfoot, but you're going to have that ease of entry in and out of turns from the rocker, as well as more optimal powder flow and it'll be just a little bit more buttery. This board is available in 153, 156, 159, 162, 157 wide, 160 wide, 164 wide. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on an overcast day with pockets of blue, warmer temps. There was about an inch of loose grapple snow on top of perfect corduroy, firm fast corduroy, or creamy corduroy depending where you were on the mountain and I rode it with my Rome black label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So the flex on this board does come just past a middle of the road all mountain but there's clear defined flex points that add some freestyle flair to this board. So what you get is a smooth consistent flex from tip to tail. So from tip to tail, it's just smooth and consistent. And then you've got this torsional flex that matches up to it, but you've got these clear defined flex points right outside the insert packs. And that's where that freestyle flare really comes into it on this board. Now, for the most part, this board is stable. You get a little bit of chatter out in the tips, but it mostly dissipates before it hits underfoot. So you're not really feeling that. And the center of the board, unless you're straight lining through like a chundery mogul field of death, you're not gonna feel it. It does such a good job of dampening. It's damp where it needs it to be, but it's still lively where it counts. It's one of those boards that you're like, oh, I can handle this going this speed, it's gonna be fine. If I push it up a little bit higher, gotta bend my knees more, or if I'm being a little bit more laid back, I'm not gonna feel shit. That's the way to look at it with this deck. The snap on this board is just easy predictable. You load that camber up, it activates that rocker section, and it reacts. It rebounds the way you want it to. It's very predictable. You understand that you're going to have more than enough to ollie off a cat track, launch a side hit, pop over a slow sign. It's just that reactive and that predictable. You never have to contemplate if you're going to make it over something or off of something. It's just solid and it's easy to load. It doesn't really fight you but it does react when you let it so that you rebound and get more pop. Those clear defined flex points outside the insert pack make all the difference in the world when you butter with this board. You're gonna press into them. You're really gonna just start leveraging your weight and you're gonna feel that rebound and fight of the board coming into play and it's gonna want to. And if you just keep leveraging your weight outside it, you're gonna notice that you've got this just optimal huge sweet spot in the nose and the tail to lock into butters and once you've basically engaged that rocker section the sky's the limit on what you can do you can swizzle and sizzle till your heart's content you just need to make it through the flexing of those flex points to get it to engage and when you do like i said it makes all the difference in the world it's fun it's easy once you understand that to just do any kind of butter variation, whether you're in soft snow, creamy snow, or a firm groomer. There's a smooth, nimble, and responsive edge-to-edge -edge control on this board. It just rolls in and out of turns with such ease, and you notice those clear defined flex points and the overall flex and shape and camber profile of this board work in conjunction to really let you dial your turns in. You're able to engage outside that front foot, but it steers more from the middle through the tail if you're really driving a hard carve. If you want to be laid back, you can ankle steer underfoot and it's fine. But then when you need to push it on that turn, you can drive your knee to the center of the board, loading that camber and getting it to activate that rocker to slingshot you out of a turn. Mellow, 
easy setup turns, medium level cars, or those deep, hard, aggressive cars. It covers all bases with this board. You really feel that it wants to be on edge and it really wants to drive. Who's this board for? The all mountain free ride guy that likes some freestyle flair. So I've ridden the regular manifest and it was okay. It was a snowboard that did snowboard things. It didn't really stand out as being this end all be all, but this board is lighter. It's got a different flex pattern to it and it's just more responsive, which makes it a better ride in my opinion. This board just works with everything it's got going on with it to make it that all mountain free ride board. That but you can still have that freestyle flair with it. So you can go spin off of a side hit. You could go in the park if you needed to. It's great. This is just a good board through and through. And I think it's gonna be one of those seminal sleeper hits with the people that understand who this is actually for. Comparable boards, the Jones flagship, the Capita Mega Mercury, the Yes Standard. Binding recommendations, the K2 Lean AT, the Now Select Pro, the Rome Katana. This has been my review of the K2 Manifest team. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.